Sup. Welcome to a stall savvy on the badass way. Look at that ceiling, bitch. Okay, we have two installation mediums. One is a portable hard drive. I call it Fat Boy because it uses the Fat32 file system. And the other one is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk cruiser. You cannot get any more badass than that. And, what, and you ask, what is this formatted with? None other than the NTFS. Your computer probably has a few USB ports in the front or the top in this case because it is a pretty badass case. So, you take your flash drive, just plug it in. Now tell me, how satisfying was that? If you answered not at all, you're correct because you're a gangster and you're going to do this the gangster way. You could plug it into the back, but you would get the same result. It's not very entertaining. So, I've bought a USB extension cord for this, for this case. So we're going to install the Sabion GNU Linux from your 16 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser 4 with NTFS from USB Hub. And your USB Hub can hold up to four USB devices and dongles. Dongle is, has to be our favorite word. It's like a combination of donkey and <laughs> two of the world's best inventions. Now that your dongles <laughs> are plugged in, we're going to be installing Sabion GNU Linux with UNED boot. Oh boy. This does not look healthy, fellas. Oh boy, it is writing the EXT file system. Who chose to use Aptitude to install Unit Boot in? Do not do that. Everybody knows that Aptitude is for women. Always use Aptget. It's older, more refined. People think Aptitude is a good idea because it suggests stuff. It doesn't know what it's talking about. It just runs its mouth because it likes hearing itself talk. Killing the process is obviously a Linux no-no, so we are going to wait for it to finish writing its file system. Aptitude is shit, and you should not use it. Don't think I won't kill you just because you're my monitor. I would have done it too. Aptitude seems to still be writing a file system. Well, I explicitly told it just to install Unit Boot in. So, while we're waiting for it, we're going to examine a few more things on my desk. What is this red cap, you ask? All it says is OR. Well, originally it said Old Spice, but it seems to have worn off a bit. Thank you, Sharpie. And what is this? It seems like a Gatorade cap, right? Nothing odd in the back, it's just oddly shiny and reflective. You'd be wrong. You'd be absolutely wrong. Yes, that is Carpenter Glue in the back of the Gatorade cap. I was a monk for a while. I met God at the foothills of K2, and he told me that Moses was a dipshit Java programmer. They didn't know how to pass by reference. He forgot to close his output stream and truncated the 11th commandment. Ye shall install Gentoo was lost forever. So I went on a journey to fulfill his command. I read the Gentoo docs, but I was like, LOL, I'm not doing this. Then an Italian created Sabion. Huh. I guess Italians are just <laughs> And it became clear how I could fulfill the 11th commandment of computing. When you find your mind or deactivate it, do not slip into the realm of retardivity. Pressing the space bar and moving the mouse would be the stupid way. We will give the desk a violent shake to reactivate the monitor. It does not seem to be working. I missed. Still installing. It seems that my mouth has encountered a large error. Men use the keyboard. I'm like one anger point away from killing this thing. Killing it this way is a bit brutish. We'll use some keyboard foo. Bye bye Terminator. Oh boy. Not only is Apt a piece of shit, so is Crunchbang. How is a simple process able to bring a server operating system to its knees? Super secret password, motherfuck. sound effects. And now, finally, thanks to Canonical's proprietary shitware, Unet Budin is able to run.
My voice seems overdramatic because it is. I'm waiting for you, Ned Budin, at this point. That knife smells delicious. 57%. So, while we, lay for, while we wait for this to load, we have a hard drive here that has some fragmentation caused by Wang, uh, Microsoft Wang blows. And we have three magnetic darts that go to that Christmas present. It is pretty cash. This is how you correct a hard drive. See, when you hover it over these black points, it causes some resistance because they are also magnets. Notice that you cannot place it in the middle of the black spots. Magnets are used constantly in hard drives to turn ones in binary into zeros. So, what we'll do is place a solid line of magnets across the middle of the hard drive. And then this final magnet is a trick. Put it exactly in the middle of that magnet and leave it for one day. What this does is the binary moving through here right now is turning completely to zero, basically starting anew, and defragments itself and runs over 570% faster after one day. <laughs> nah, we just screwed a hard drive for YouTube. In all seriousness, it had the click of death, so it's the best thing we could have used it for other than throwing it away. No hard drives were hurt in the making of this film. The reboot now? Okay. Bye-bye, Zabantu, you junk. I'm abusive to my software. I've started Sabion 9 with Gnome now, and you can see it booting up. Look at all that noise in the background. That isn't no pic that isn't no solid color. That is indeed a picture with one hell of a status bar here. Zero percent folks. You saw it here first. Unless any of these words mean it mean something to you, then English is the best option. Basic store basic storage devices or specialized storage devices. I know your daddy probably told you you were special, but he lied. You're going to want basic storage devices. If you have a free point like this, I have a bunch of unused memory because I set Linux up like a TARD. You're going to want to use the root mount point uh, file system ext4, unless you want to use something, something special here. I mean, BradFS, it's kind of, you know, spoiled, but it's a good file system. Uh, I've never heard of this JFS chip, but if it's written in Java, definitely don't do that. Uh, XFS, don't know what that is. Interesting thing, Sapion has wonderful ZFS support. But because of copyright issues, it's not included by default. Size in megabytes, 500. That's tarded. I'm going to use 7th, 7 million, 900, 800,000. That's not a real number. Go back, write changes to disk further down the rabbit hole, back into the matrix. Man, what are you? I thought so. Women. Who uses a big ass square as a bullet? Zonotic. Who else has it? Price anybody that cares about Zenotic or whatever the heck Zenotic is. What an offensive line. <laughs> Who sneezes at night? I don't really have a touchscreen monitor. Enter key where the button was. You have to admit that's kind of a neat trick. Cool bootloader, bro. What? Snazzy as heck. Oh, look at that animation. Password of doom. And this is the first boot in a Sabion 9. Oh, great. It looks exactly like Sabion 8. I've been using Sabion for about a minute, and I already noticed something. It brought me to their homepage, where they have option one. You can, do, you can donate 10,000 euros monthly. And I figure, okay, they have a set to the highest value. That's the lowest value. You can also do 20,000, 50,000, or 100,000 euros monthly. 
if that's your thing. 